everybody. Welcome to the Poker Shop. Wait, what? Poke Shop? Yeah. Wait. What? What am I doing? Why am I here? I say. Why are you here? Why are you in my house? Your house? This? This is our stream room. Oh. I don't live here. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, how's your thoughts in the back? In the very, very back. What's up, guys? My name is Drew. You know what it is. It's Wednesday. We got Pokemon today, and I have a very special guest on the Poker Shop today. I have the Gaming Fishman, Fish himself. Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> uh, Fishman, serving everything up nice and hot today. Got some nice hot cakes. He invited me on to the fish tank last week, and I figured I would reciprocate. I can't talk today. Reciprocate <laughs> the courtesy and bring him on to the Poker Shop. So. How's everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? Fish, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fantastic today. You know, it's it's been a, it's been warming up here mm -hmm. recently, oh, yeah. so you know the you know the the frozen block of water that we call a trolling toad is un, unfreezing right now. It oh. feels it feels great just being able to move around. I would say it was nice, but it's crazy because yesterday it was it got up to like 63 degrees. It was beautiful outside, sun shining, was no rain, anything, and then now. They're calling for snow. Oh, no. I don't like the snow. No, no snow. I'm excited. I'm a big man, but I, I'm starting to hate the snow more and more now. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I just hate the cold. Ugh. How's everybody doing in the chat? We say Heath, I see you. Uh, Mag4, Mark, what's up? Uh, I saw Alicia in there as well. Yeah, we you're her. still You're still giving this man some PTSD from the last fish tank you were on with him? Oh, I'm already seeing you. Don't, don't you worry. Our rematch will happen soon. Say, I, I'm excited to watch it. It was fun. If you have not seen it yet, go check out the VOD on our Twitch. So, <laughs> we're still cleaning up the goo. Yes, right over there in the corner. You guys don't know this yet, but my entire non-camera facing side is still totally soaked in goo. He's still a pretty man. Look at him. Look at him. Mm, strike a I mean, dojo pose. Yeah, that was nice. Nice. <laughs> Mouse! Welcome back to the stream. You missed the last two, buddy. Say, I'm glad to have you back in. So today, guys, it's redemption. This man called me out on his stream. They called me out in our Discord. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. So you act like there was multiple people doing that, not just, you know, one. Yeah, he's a, well, basically two or three people, especially here that work here. I make a lot of accounts, guys. It's great. <laughs> I've lost my title. I am no longer the king of the Char Lizards, the Charizard champion. <laughs> so today is redemption. Since though, I cannot pull the them on the actual physical card game. I figure why not? Let's take it to the digital world and let's see if we can open them on Pokemon TCG Online. Mm -hmm. And uh, Twitch and Seven, don't you worry. We're, we're gonna give you a special shout out there, Greg. You're doing amazing, my dude. What up, Greg? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, just figured we would give people a shout out while we were doing the intro. Figured like we would save that till the end. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Drew Bear? So today, guys, like I said, we're going to try the digital world. We've got packs opened up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, got the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> yes. So we've we've got a chance not only at the Charles the Charles RP Max from Darkness of Blaze, but we also have another shot at the Fat Boy Pikachu Hyper Rare mm -hmm. from Vivid Voltage. Ooh, the Hyper Chunka Boy. There you go. Ooh, yep. the Thikachu. We've got two chances here. We also two have chances. two chances for Charizard. Ooh, we got two chances for Charizard Lizards too. If we say, because there is a rare Charizard in Vivid Voltage that's oh, actually being used oh, right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. So you're always first to bully people. That's rude. You shouldn't bully people. <laughs> uh, it's, I mean, sometimes bullying is fun. Precisely. So, I guess we, uh, we've we got no other choice here. We'll just go ahead and we will get started. It is. Where, oh, where but real quick, up? guys, just to start off the show, make sure that if you have not followed the channel to be in any of the giveaways today, make sure you are mm -hmm. following the channel. And then also, yeah. if you subscribe, make sure that you're following along in the Discord that way you can get your 5% code that we have up right now. We just posted it yesterday mm -hmm. for your 5% off anything off the website. Yep. Exclamation and point Discord, by the way. Not only that, here's the real kicker. If you're a subscriber, you get double points for a giveaway. That's two times the luck. That is twice the amount of luck. 
Oh, and we got some giveaways today. We got some packs to give away. Yeah, we got some fantastic Two packs. times, baby. We got packs to give away. And, of course, we got to have the web credits. You know it's coming. We got web credits coming. Yeah, you know we got to treat the trolleys to their credits. Exactly. Oh, and also, since we are opening up Vivid Voltage, the Vivid Voltage code cards are on sale today for the deal of the day. What? 30 cents. 30 cents? What? 30 cents a code. Oh. 30 cents for a pack. You can't get no cheaper. No, no, you can't. So for the price of a candy bar, you get four packs? Exactly. Oh, that's insane. Where are you get? Oh, Dollar Tree. I mean, you can go to Dollar Tree and get it. Well, I, mean, I said, I, where I, you I, get one for a dollar? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was talking about, you know, just name brand candy bars. You know, the uh, the dollar thirty, dollar forty candy bars. Not each dollar candy bar is true. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. The upper crust of candy. The creme de la creme of chocolates. <laughs> I don't know how to take this, man, sometimes. But I'll, um... All right, so, mm. Fish, I'm going to let you pick. Yeah, Which okay. one should we start off with? Should we start off with Vivid Voltage or Darkness Ablaze? Mm, okay, so I think that we should do some Darkness Ablaze since we haven't seen a lot of... What, what was your most recent opening? Uh, Darkness Ablaze, actually. We, Darkness we, Ablaze? We did this this past Wednesday. Okay. Uh, then I think that we should do Vivid Voltage for a little bit, then we'll bounce over to some Darkness Ablaze, and then we'll just bounce back and forth whenever energy feels right. There we go. And they're calling yeah. for Chocolati to be the Ooh. keyword for the first Chocolate. giveaway. So like there that. you go. All right. Chocolati. So let's open up Vivid Voltage. Now, guys, these packs are going to go a lot quicker than when I normally open because of the fact that there's no physical cards. I don't have to sort them, anything like that. So we're just going to, I guess, bust right through them. I mean, no physical cards yet until I manifest these into the physical realm from holding them straight if from I Pokemon pulled, Online. If I pulled the Charizard VMAX, will you manifest me one to personally own? I'll try. My powers are working very mysterious ways, Trap. All right, I'll so we, best. Ooh, we, we, we got start. the Tower Boy. We got the Tower Boy. We got Dur Durilodon. 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 Yes. Mm, I call him. Uh, I call him the Jersey Dragon. The Jersey Dragon. Yeah. No, he always looks like. Hey, we're building here. Building here. Now, also with Vivid Voltage, there's two things with the card mm -hmm. that is the reverse slot. That could be two things. One, a Ooh. reverse rare. Or you can also get those amazing raiders right here on the game as well. I, I, pulled, to ask. I pulled four of them at home on mine, so I'm mm. very excited to use them. I got Jirachi. And we're starting off with an energy slash B. got that ultra rare already. Look oh, at sweet. that. This is the one with Slash and Sonic Edge. Very good Age of Slash. I do mm -hmm. like it. Yes, very much. I think uh, what? See some playing ADT right as a single attacker? Yeah, I, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so we'll start off. We've talked about it for the past few streams, but I figured we'd go ahead, especially since we're getting closer and closer. Pokemon is being very tight-lipped right now as far as what's going to happen for the 25th anniversary. The only thing we've gotten the announcement for so far are the oversized promo cards from each of the starters from their sets. So, so from Gen 1, we're going to have Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Mm -hmm. From Gen 2, of course, we're going to have Cyndaquil, uh, Totodial, and... Uh, it's all uh, okay. You forgot Chikorita. about Laser Gator. You forgot I, about Laser Gator. And I, I forgot I'll... about Laser Gator. Yep. Oh, like it rock. So Ooh. as you can get it, we'll start off with the starters of the oversized promos. They're going to start with Gen 8, and then they're going to work their way backwards. And then if you get the big overstuff binder, you get the Pikachu. Ooh. So, I yeah. The Pikachu. I mean, the Pikachu. It's going to be like that big. big. Pikachu, it's going to be that big. So, big. So, so now, I haven't got to talk to Fish Ooh. about this, and we kind of hinted at... Some stuff on the fish tank. Mm -hmm. What do you think is coming in, in the 25th anniversary? What kind of announcements do you think that Pokemon's going to announce? Right. So we already know they're keeping up with Universal to do a big music thing, right? So uh, we got Katy Perry. <gasps> we no, got Dra Drapian. Yeah, there we go. I can pronounce that one, Drapian. <laughs> you know, some nice drapes. Yes. Yeah, so, you, know, you hang up a couple of those Drapians around your living room, it brings the whole room together. Uh, so we already know they're going to be doing some big music stuff. Uh... So, uh, maybe team up with uh, uh, Universal again and do some like more movie stuff. I would love to see like a Detective uh, Detective Pikachu series. That, that would be super cool. They, the the rumor is a sequel right now, which I don't know how we should be with spoiler territory as far as if everybody has watched Detective Pikachu or not, or if you're going to. Yeah, more tourism. Lizards. Mr. Ryan concert dubbed with Kendrick Lamar. 
I would pay yep. money. I'm I okay with money. all that except for Mr. Rhyme. All right. No, hey, no, hey, no, hey, you put like hey, Sirfetched hey. on there. I'm on that. Sirfetched on the track is always dropping it hot. Don't diss my boy, Mr. Rhyme. I love Mr. Rhyme. He's awesome with a little top hat. He's, he's the modern day Charlie Chaplin. And we got a steel oh, HB. We got a new big boy. We, oh, look at that big metal snake boy. I'm he's excited. Cool. Imagine if that was real and you had to encounter one of those. Well, I would. Ooh. I'd go. Well, I wouldn't run, but I would trot the other way because I'm big. I don't <laughs> run. So, my thing is like, how do you expect a fire to have to melt through that? Uh, yeah, really, I, I don't like, understand. That's my big question. <laughs> they get knocked out by sprinklers. You'll be fine. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> we just Steam. gotta stop it before it evolves to Steelix. Yeah, that's right. Steam Siege. I would say Steam Siege flashbacks with that Mega Steelix EX. Oh. Uh, man, that one looks so cool because his big jaw, he looks like the metal crimson chin. Yeah. He looks so cool. And he almost looks gold. Like on the regular one, he almost looks gold because of just how the shadowing they did on it. And he mm. looks so cool. Mm. Uh-oh, somebody's mad. You just missed a rhyme. I'm not dissing. Uh, all I'm saying is I prefer Sir Feshed, all right? No, I'm just I'm just a West Gallon fan. I guess Drew's an East Gallon fan. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say, Andrew Rudabear won the giveaway. That Got the giveaway. That was the chocolate. There you go. That was the first one for the 25 web credits. They say, we'll have another one of those towards the end of the stream. Uh, Ooh, let's see. Rudabear, what are you going to spend those web credits on? I guess what we'll, we'll, leading to this conversation will lead into my next conversation. I mean, they kind of go hand in hand. You know, there's a lot of rumors right now going on about the Switch games, about what's coming next for Switch. And I know you and I both are a fan of what's what is rumored to come next, mm -hmm. which is our first going back to Sinnoh, which is Diamond yes. Pearl. Oh, please, Gen 4 remakes. I'm, I'm super excited for it oh. myself. And my, my thing about it is they said they could rumor to have Megas okay. instead of going to the VMAX. They would kind of, it'd be a way to bring back Megas. Okay. What would you think about that? I think that's cool. I would, of course, I would prefer Gen 4 get its own, like, evolution system, because that's been the gimmick ever since uh, X and Y, right? Uh, each generation gets their own different set of battle evolution. Yeah. Uh, I would love to see Gen 4 get that. Of course, I understand it's totally not possible for a remake, uh, but I think Mega Evolution could be cool. Anything's better than Z-Moves. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I... Oh! There we go, an amazing oh, rare! Amazing rare. We got the shield, boy. I mean, shield doggo. Let me say, Zamazenta, amazing rare. Nice. That was very uh, helpful for online. Ah, uh, Namazenta. Namazenta. And, and that's our third like. Hey, hey, like and rock. He's cool. He's a bloodthirsty boy. Hey. Yeah, and it's the dust version, which I like. Uh, really cool, aren't I like it a lot more than I like the day version or midday version. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the one thing that gets me is the other thing that they're rumored to do. Hey, whale. Ooh, look at the big whale. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is the Super Collection. Mm. So, this is okay. the, so this is the other rumor. So we already know officially we've got two Pokemon games coming out this year. Mm -hmm. We have Pokemon Snap. Right. And we have the Let's Go Pichu, which is going to Johto. Okay. So it's going to be, huh. a, it's going to be another retelling of Johto. But it's going to be the, like, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee style. Okay. The other two games, which they're rumored to have four games this year, four or five games this year. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. That's a lot of games. Can, well, can Game Freak handle that? I, I don't know if they can. Oh. So, let's go Total Dial. Hey, I'd be all about it. <laughs> let's go Laser Gator. Like, yeah, yeah. Laser Gator. Uh, so, I, it hasn't totally been confirmed to Ruta Bear, but there was an Ruta article Bell that came it. pretty much. There was an article that came out on January 12th that talked about how they re-upped for the licensing for Diamond and Pearl. Ooh. Oh yeah, they bought uh, they rebought a bunch of URLs, right? Exactly, and it's not old domains either. There weren't they were not old domains; they were brand new domains that they just made. So that hints at Diamond and Pearl. Mm -hmm. Now the other one, since they're working with Nintendo, I mean that's the number one company they distribute to. They want to do it in the vein of the Mario Collection. That released that uh, actually ends in March. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that word. Oh. I know, I know. Oh. But the let's go Dunsparce. I'm all about it. Let's go with Dunsparce. Let's go Marine Double Pack Combo. No. I'm about it. Hold up, everybody's forgetting the all best one. It. Let's go Shuckle. Let's go Shuckle. Let's go Dunsparce. I mean, basically the same thing. Let's mm. go Shuckle. 
I'm a let's go Dunsparce fan myself. I mean, it's, hey, it's cool. Hey, hey, we're not against each other. We're supporting each other against the Marie Menace. Right? Uh, That's what we're doing. Excuse me, man behind the camera. The Marie don't diss it. He turns into Ampharos, and Ampharos is awesome. Uh, but the the rumor collection would either be. I'm gonna just, throw a shoe at you. He's just a shaved sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera and throw a shoe at the man behind the camera. We need to mic him up. We need to get him a mic. That way we, he can actually talk and stuff. <laughs> so let's go to the trash. Yeah, let's go to the trash. Pay no attention. All right. So the super collection is one of two things. One, it would be the original games. So okay. red, blue, uh, silver, uh, gold and silver. Okay. Up to, I believe, Ruby and Sapphire. Okay. So you would actually get all six on one collection. Okay. The other one that's rumored, Gen 2 is garbage, just saying. I'll fight you, new. That, new new that, manners. That's, that's Russell. The <laughs> one that was here last week? It's Russell. I'll fight him. <laughs> you know, you guys don't understand. If, no one comes in my dojo. <laughs> this is why you need to be in the Discord, because him and Russell have got some hate going on right now. And this is over the fight between Hoenn and Johto. Which one is better? Johto is just cooler, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. It has everything from the sheer geography, from the Pokemon designs. It just has Hoenn beat. Also, it's not all water. Yeah, exactly. That's all I gotta say. Uh, yeah, Ho Hoenn is a lot of water. I'll tell you that much. And a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, so I'm all about the Pokemon First collection that you said, uh, where it's the six games yeah uh, i would be about that uh well depends on how old nintendo prices them yeah uh if they prices them at the 60 dollars like how the mario super collection was you know they're a bunch of roms then we got the crowbar yes! yes okay so this is another reason why i wanted to open darkness of blaze because a very popular card that is being used right now is the crowbat b and we got him yeah so yes that is perfect to start aiming towards our deck that we're going to use on here. Sweet. So we already got the Crobat, so now we need one to two to the day. And exactly. Then, then we could actually just pick the deck we want to yeah, play. Yeah, pretty much. And besides, an another one also with a bit of voltage is if we get the Colossal VMAX. Because the Colossal VMAX is very playable yes. right now. Uh, oh, we can play that in a Picarom shell? Yes. Oh, that would be good. By the way, there is a Hyper Rare Alolan Raichu and Raichu on here that somebody pulled, and I don't know who did it. It wasn't huh. me. Yeah, I don't know either. That's um, I'm a, just a popular guy. What can I say? Guys? So the other thing that they were talking about doing mm -hmm. is Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, Heart Gold Soul Silver, Fire the Fire Red Leaf Three, and putting those on a collection because they're the updated remastered versions. Okay, it's just weird uh, because there's a world of difference between Fire Red and Leaf Green and Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Yes. That's a huge, they would completely, it would have to be basically a let's go level of like revamping for absolutely. Uh, Fire Red, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Me personally, I'm in I'm in the realm of kind of what the dud it says, which is I would much rather see the third games. Yep. I want to see Yellow. I want to see, uh, uh, Gold, silver, what was that? Uh, crystal. Crystal. Uh, and then I want to see Emerald. I want to see, like, the complete games like that. But yeah, because they're the definitive edition, right? Yeah, exactly. And to where, because Emerald, like, I, I love, like I said, Hoenn's my favorite, and I love Ruby mm -hmm. and Sapphire separately. But Emerald, I could get both Kyogre and Groudon, and I could get Rick yeah, Plus the post-game experience. I'm not a big post-gamer guy. That would explain why I like Johto over Hoenn. Well, There's another good one. Oh. How many ultras have you pulled? <laughs> like six so far. And I've, I've switched over to Darkest is... of Blaze. We're going back and forth. Oh, okay, okay. Because this is like the third one in a row. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're running hot today, guys. Yeah, running hot. All right. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Copper Roger. Mm -hmm. So with the 25th anniversary coming, we already know that what's coming in cards for the next two months, basically. We have Shining Fates that's coming out mm -hmm. uh, in February 19th, March 19th. Good day, by the way. It's my birthday. Um, we have battle stops. Oh, I was yeah, I was about to guess battles. Like you, people at home can see it. I've been like, <laughs> I'm excited. I I think I'm more excited for battle styles than I am shiny fates. Don't get me wrong. I want the blue ditto. I want the dragon pulse shiny, and I want Charizard. But 
battle styles because of the way the meta is going to change when that comes out with rapid strike and single strike and the way it's really going to affect competitive play i'm super excited for battle styles i think it's going to be a killer set I think uh, it's going to be awesome. anything to shake up the standard format right because it's been basically the same since sword and shield came out adp has yep. been one of the best stacks and mm -hmm. it's basically the remnants from uh team up right yep that's our second right here oh. by the way actually mm. very underrated he's not great but he's not terrible uh, hey He's fighting type, so he combos with Bay. He's a, he's okay in my book. So, another reason why I like talking to Fish so much mm. is because Fish, I think at one point, has played all the games, like me. Uh, yeah, I've at one point in time I was qualified for the Big Three Nationals all together. <laughs> so, and you've seen the difference in the meta play between Pokemon Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. So Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh are very extensive as far as their change in their plays and how things are done. Besides a couple rules, has Pokemon really changed? Uh, hmm. I guess uh, from the time I have the most amount of experience from uh, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver to Black and White mm -hmm. uh, is like where I really started playing. Um, it really hasn't. Uh, deck designing philosophy has definitely changed a lot mm -hmm. uh, based on cards currently in, uh, currently in rotation. Uh, and you definitely see power shift, uh, power creep in Pokemon going forward. Uh, it, team up is a big, big spike in power, but the thing with Pokemon is they always immediately start decreasing the power. Absolutely. And we've started seeing, oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. there we go, the that's a girl. good pull. Yeah, we got the water waifu, this is great. Our collection is, it's, it is thick. I'm big say. So I know people were thinking, okay, this is digital. What does it matter? Mm -hmm. You got to understand, this is different from Magic Arena. This is different from the other card games online. I can take this card and go trade it for more packs or a card I actually need. You can actually trade on this game with other people as well. That's a big popular thing I'm doing right now, trying to beat or trying to get my Colossal VMAX deck set up myself. Is I can take cards like Nessa, who I'm necessarily not going to use, but it's a hyper rare, and I can get 10 to 15 vivid voltage packs Ooh. from somebody. Ooh, that would be a good uh, Poke Shop. Me and you, like running the Pokemon trademark. Absolutely. I think that would be fun. Yes, yes. yes. We have ideas for the future. Yes. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, Reddit doesn't mess with it. This time. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> I uh, you don't understand how GameStop pin doubles in price in a oh. day. Oh, God. Zeppy Dose. Oh. Hey, we got the order. Oh, That's seven. <laughs> so I think my luck is changing because definitely I'm hitting it on here versus the card game. And from what I've been told, it's actually harder to get stuff on the digital game versus the card game. Uh, I've definitely spent about $100 and didn't pull anything from packs in the well, online. So. Yeah, it's it's been tough. And let's see here. We got Ninjask. So I hate to be a downer, but we, we have to go there. Oh. We, we have to talk about the ban wave. Oh, has been, the big boy, the big yes. news. So I'll bring this up here and I'll show you guys okay. what I'm talking about. So with this, with this article that we have, we posted this on our Facebook, officially Troll and Toad on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Pokemon fans, as many as you may or may not know, Pokemon has been rolling out a massive ban wave affecting players all around the world. The main target of this ban appears to be companies selling hacked Pokemon for money, and Pokemon is coming down hard by console banning all units connected to the companies and blocking all of their Pokemon from being traded. There is a side effect, though, that has been affecting this. So we're talking about this for stream. Go ahead and explain the two bans that are going on right now. Okay, so there's two different types of bans going on right now. There's one for content creators, and then there's one for normal players. Uh, so the bans for normal players are typically, they range from like 12 hours to like a week, depending on the severity. Depends on how many uh, hacked Pokemon that you have and uh, have on your Pokemon Home account. Um, now the ones for content creators, uh, these are more in particular targeting channels that do shiny giveaways. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Targeting channels that do those, and those are permanent. Uh, so for Pokemon Home, it's an account ban, so they have to make a whole new account and re-sign up for their subscription service. And for Sword and Shield, it's a console ban. So that account on that Switch is banned. So you will have to go get a whole new Switch, a whole new Switch, and make a whole new account in order to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I say, so in order to play a game, you have to drop in there two or three hundred dollars to get a brand new one. Yes. And as we were also hinted at earlier, and I hinted on this a couple streams ago. 
Switch. Nintendo is rumored to come out with a brand new Switch console. Yep. Coming out this year. The one possible 4K, the the Gamer Switch. Yeah, exactly. The Gamer Machine. Which, honestly, don't get me wrong, I would love to see Mario and Pokemon and all that in 4K, but it's not that big of a deal. I felt me worth showing out another three, four hundred dollars for it. Yeah, I, especially because Mario Odyssey already looks beautiful on the Switch, anyways. Absolutely. The only one that could ever get an upgrade is Pokemon. Yeah, but. Yeah. But even then, that's really just tweaking their graphics here and there, and you really wouldn't. Yeah. I think at 1080p, it looks. I, I think it looks Breath great. Breath of the Wild 4K. Ooh. And okay, now yeah, that, that was, you that got me on that one. Especially if they announce Breath of the Wild 2 this year, which supposedly they are. Well, it's already been announced. We just don't have anything. We have a title. That's what we got for that. Yeah. Let me say, now, Breath of the Wild, I'm down for. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, Zelda's celebrating its, what year anniversary this year? Was it 30th? Yes. I think Zelda's celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, so... That's another yeah, one. I'm an epic gamer historian. I am, yes, you are right. <laughs> so, if you have any of these Pokemon and they're shiny, <laughs> you, and we say if you have any of these Pokemon, they are shiny off, which means you cannot get them shiny. Yes. So, if you have any of these that are shiny on your home Switch, delete them as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. They, which one is Calyrex? Uh, Spec Rear and Gast Rear, which are the brand new legendaries from Crown Tundra. Right. You, Urshifu and Kubfu, which are the legendaries from Isle of Armor. Really weird that they're not, the shinies aren't in the game yet, right? Like, because no, the, no, no, the not, normal models are in the game, but yeah, the, the shiny models are. But the actual, uh, uh, I guess they're planning them for events or something, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, or like the, uh, the raid dens. Oh, uh, yeah. Because Again, yeah, Pokemon has that now. Yeah, the raid dens to where you can actually catch them in the raid den. And not only would they be shiny, they could also be their Gigantamax form. So, yeah. I gotcha. gotcha exactly. Gotcha. So, also, uh, Etern <laughs> Eternatus is one which... I'm waiting for that thing to get Gigantamax on the game. What? Ooh, the, the Sky Hand? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, of course, your two big legendaries, Zaxian and Zamazenta or not, uh, both Megirna, Mars Shadow, mm -hmm. uh, which is really weird because his leg his shiny is already out. That's, huh. His, oh. his shiny was out for an event, I think, in Sun and Moon. Oh, so, yeah. Hmm. Oh, has he been uh, ported over to Sword and Shield yet? Uh, yeah, see, I don't think so. That That's probably the thing because after, you know, the National Dex <laughs> yeah, cleansing... <laughs> Ooh. That's another thing too. If you get a, one of these Pokemon in a trade, mm -hmm. or a shiny Pokemon in a trade, and it's in a Master Ball, and it comes with an item, usually, get rid of it. Yes, get rid um, of it. So how people have been getting these uh, Pokemon has been through Wonder Trade, through Pokemon Home, and through Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, and how you will know these Pokemon are bannable is their name will be Machamp.com. We'll have a .com in their name. The original trainer will be Machamp.com. My Pokegen.com. Yep. Um, and that's how you know that these are hacked. They're also who gives away random shinies and wonder trade. Yeah, exactly. Things like, unless you're sitting there and you have, if you grind for hours and hours and all of a sudden you get a shiny bell sprout and you're like, oh, I don't want, well, you can't get bell sprout in the game anyways. But if I get a shiny Nidoran, like I did, I, when I first got my first one, I was just shiny grinding and all of a sudden uh, I got a shiny Nidoran mail and I messaged Mark and I'm like, is this right? And he goes, you got a shiny. And I'm like, what? What? I'm like, it's a, it's the I thought it's it was green. the female because it looks like it looks oh, like a female. Yeah, it looks bluish, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So also, if you have Cosmog or Cosmoan, which are in the game because you get a free Cosmog, but it is shiny locked as well because it's a free Pokemon. Uh, Volcanion, uh, Hoopa, uh, Meletta, uh, Keldeo, Victini, the Galarian birds. Uh, they are not there. You cannot encounter them shiny. Only one model. Exactly. The capped Pikachu's that we got in the events last year. Uh, where you got the Ashes hat from the different regions. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the movie pro, uh, the movie events, right? Yeah, exactly. And then the fancy and Pokeball pattern uh, uh, pavilions, the butterfly birds oh, from XY. yeah. Yeah, so if you have any of those that are sh all any of them shiny, get rid of them as soon as possible because you're basically, you have a chance of basically being banned. Yep, at least console your account. Won't. And Nintendo's not sitting here saying, okay, 
you just got it for free. We're not going to ban you. No, they're trying yeah. to ban everybody. Yes. Uh, so Nintendo, they came out on their Twitter and they have a non-discussion policy about this. Uh, so they're, if you send in an email asking, hey, why am I banned? They will not respond to you. Um, a YouTuber, um, who I got this, got in contact with Nintendo's support uh, through three different branches. He contacted the base Japanese branch, the European branch, and the American branch for Nintendo. And all of them said they could not comment on it. But because, but the one common occurrence in all of his files across the all of because he had a file on all of them was YouTube ban. So uh... it is clearly a mark against content. Yep. They have a mark. They're targeting certain groups of people because this is also a YouTuber that does China giveaways. And he, he admitted on in his video that he had over 1,800 falsified Chinese. And that's, at that point, what do you do? Do you put the blame on Nintendo or do you put the blame on him? Oh, no, no. It's all it's all the, the Jenners, right? Yeah. Like, it's all the people doing the thing and not Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo should have better policies and be less archaic about some of the modern stuff. Yeah. But this is just a learning, a growing pain, if you will, for a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar company. Exactly. And let, let's, let's not even start on their policies when it comes to YouTube. Or things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Anyway. Well, they're, they're getting better now. They are, they are. Um, they're definitely, definitely learning as as they're going with us, so to speak. By the way, this is one of my favorite cards from this set. It's the Metagross. What's his ability? A limitation field. Your Pokemon in play had no retreat cost. That's good, because he has three. Yeah, I'd be say So you can leave him on the bench and be like, hey, that thing does not have any retreat cost. Cool. And you just switch out. Oh, that's just good. Just shuffle. That's good. So, if, uh, you guys watch my Troll vs. Toad game. Uh, you know I love Pokemon that can cheat retreat costs. Yes, and this thing, that is awesome. And so that that's kind of the deck I'm kind of building right now. I'm building a Colossal VMAX with a Steel aspect to it. It's going to be pretty interesting. So be super cool. Hey, we got a Samurai. Yeah. Probably one of the most underwhelming water starters, in my opinion. Oh, uh, what? I, I, he looks really cool. Like his design, like the whole Samurai aesthetic, like looks so rad. It's ooh, ooh, yes. we got, we got yes. a boy. We got yes. a boy. That's the other, that's one of the other ones we want. That is one of the other ones we want. Yes. Oh, Aegis Snatch V Max Big Sword. Hey, Big yeah. Sword. There we go. We're getting the hits today, baby. I Big feel sword. it. Whoa. I feel we're getting a Charizard today, or we're getting Fat Boy Pika. So I, I'm getting my title back. Big Sword. I'm all about Big Sword. Big let's, Sword's uh. Can we, can we just brute force that meme, big sword? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's yeah, just... you know what? Let's brute force it. That always works. That always works for memes, right? Yep. Um, so, so Fish, uh, uh -huh. switch on the Pokeshop, is there anything Pokemon related that you want to talk about today? Ooh, well, I I, mean, I just wanted to go a little bit more into the history of uh, people, because uh, Pokemon banning people that play Pokemon for having gen Pokemon isn't a old, isn't a new thing. This has happened multiple times before. Um, we got the Hyper and now we got the Full Art. I love the full art. The four is the, pretty. I, I just like, I love her blue accents in her hair. She just looks cool. Everything about that card pops. It looks so good. I mean, say, it's one thing to see it in person, but when you see it in the nice graphics like this, it's it's beautiful. It's absolutely yes. beautiful card. But yeah, you go ahead and talk about that because you. I think you know more about the history when it comes to banning than I do. And so just kind of mm -hmm. lay the field out there for you. Okay, so... Um... Pokemon issuing these bannings now is at a weird, weird spot. They're definitely, this is definitely a clear indication that a new remake or a new big game is on the way uh, because Pokemon tip. Sorry to interrupt, but we got, got an amazing group. We got an amazing group of Yashi. I'm just over here. So just good. Back, so that's all I'm doing. Oh, so good. But, he said that, but that's two amazing rares out of, I guess, less than 20 packs. We've gotten two amazing rares on here. Let's see what our big boy is. Yeah, let's see what that big rare is. Ah, Jolteon. Jolteon. Not a bad one. Not uh, a bad one. Oh, that's really cool. I, I, got, I love that Jirachi. I love just the art for him. Uh, so good. All right, so we're going to go back to Dark Displays uh, this time. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start cracking some ultras from that pack. All right. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, Pokemon always issues these bands to clean up uh, the GTS. Uh, ever since Gen 5, which is where GTS was unveiled, uh, Genning Pokemon has been very rampant in the in the community and a certain national champion got caught with a few fake Pokemon yeah. on his team. Uh, and that's why we don't hear from that national champion. Uh, it's also super unfortunate that if you go into the full details of Jenning Pokemon, 
uh, some of the hype moments from big worlds play is kind of they kind of have a shadowy underbelly now uh, like the pachirisu from 2014 2015 worlds yep. uh, if you go into the details into its stats and you actually look at the math of it it's special defense and defense stats are impossible so it's crazy to me because i know for right now um Zarud, i don't know if you know who i'm talking about there that new, yeah, that Zarud, new the sandstorm guy right yeah because there's already somebody who's using it on one of his teams and it's shiny and it's not even out for the general public oh boy uh, yeah he tried to submit his team and nintendo's like no what are you doing no no, what, no. i think so. it's not even every time we talk about zarud zarud says yeah, hey, you mr rhyme Ooh. got the reverse rhyme e oh. the reverse and i is my stance on jane boko is totally fine just don't use it for competitive play like yeah because like i just don't cheat it's like using aimbots in a first person shooter don't cheat like i know for a fact i have one I know for a fact I got one in a trade, and it was Reggie Lucky, the uh -huh. new uh, electric uh, Reggie, and I got one, and he's shiny, and I'm just like, this is weird because I thought originally they were shiny locked, but apparently they're not. Hmm. The Reggies are apparently not shiny locked. So. Oh yeah, well that would explain people trying to shiny hunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, because the thing you save before you go yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, yep. 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 <laughs> So, day 364 of my shiny snob attempt. Say, there we go. We got another VMAX. We got Butterfree. Another. Oh, the big bug. That's a pretty card. We uh, pulled, I love the Mothra. We pulled one of those last week. Actually, we pulled two of those. I think we pulled two of those, didn't we, Kelly, last week? Yes. Yeah, I say. So, we pulled two of those, and just the texture on the wings and stuff, it's, mm -hmm. it's awesome. It, so, just, it just looks really cool. Yo, Polly, you pulled another. It was a regular, not a hyper. Nice. Polly is one of the guys out there who. Uh, plays the online game oh, as well. That's sweet. Ooh, I mean, hey, cracking Charizard's always sweet. The online game has really gotten more popular, well, more and more popular lately. Yeah, and I think I it's I think it's because it's a cheaper alternative than going out and buying packs and things yeah, like that. Because uh, you can buy code cards for what cents on the dollar, <laughs> thirty cents, like the Vivid yeah. Voltage ones we have on sale on mm -hmm. Charizard.com. Ex exactly. Uh, you can also buy code cards for like the the League Challenge decks, right? The yep. ADP, the ones that you literally just have to fill in with staples, and then there you go. Say, and not only that. That was so cheesy, by the way, the way I went into that, but I don't care. And uh, A, hey, you nailing it. And Boros! Speaking of awesome Pokemon, and don't throw in the trash. Is this supposed to be a giraffe or a sheep? That's that's my question for Ampharos. Okay, so I asked that same thing to Mark, and Mark looked at me like I had three heads. Because it has a very giraffe-looking appearance, right? Like, the color scheme is very giraffe-like. It's electric giraffe-like. Mm -hmm. Is He has the long neck. He has the weird horn thing. Yeah, like... Every say, whatever it is, it's cool. It's like both, right? Yeah, he kind of is. It's like... it's a, No, it's not a dragon. <gasps> it's a dragon. It's a dra Well, hey, he hasn't went Super Saiyan yet, all right? That's when he becomes a dragon. That's whenever he, he gets the legendary dragon type. Gear Ampharos. Gear Ampharos. Well, I think the Mega Evolve actually gets dragon type, too, where he it does. Like, grows the, the... The long mane. <laughs> the glorious locks. The what? luscious locks. Face prayers! No, you get the... Shh, boing! Get you! Just ripping these wrappers and just keep on giving us and and got an ultra rare if that was an actual pack that would be a double hit that is awesome oh, that's good what do you mean actual pack this was an actual hat this is an actual pack this is an actual pack yeah because we're going to be using this stuff <laughs> so an, so Circus, another you got me you got me with the chocolate chocolate <laughs> so another topic i want to talk about today was oh hold on i think i did something Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. My bad. I didn't break it. Fish did. Uh, hey. Fish. Uh, I did everything. So, <laughs> this come so this is kind of like, we're not at the halfway point yet, but I want to go and talk about kind of the futures of the streams. Oh. Kind okay. of where we're going. So with Pokemon, there's a couple different things that we want to do. One, we talked about it. Somebody hinted at us, uh, one of the past few streams, to open up customer orders here on the stream. So if you guys are cool with it, if you want to see your orders open on the stream, then we can be set up to do that. So what you would have to do is you would just have to, in your order notes, put, I want this busted for the stream. Mm -hmm. And we can take it and we can open it up here. So if you order, let's say, 
10 packs of Champions Path. Okay. Or 10 packs of Vivid Voltage. Put your order, make your request through the Discord, and let us know that you made these orders. Mm -hmm. And then once your orders are being made, we'll pull them, we'll put them to the side, and then we'll open them here on the street. Ooh, that'd be really cool, especially on, like, release day. Yeah, exactly. Get to see your stuff being open. And especially with the, with the new sets coming out, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then also, the other thing we were talking about doing, yes, we will open YGO as well. Yes. Oh. We'll open Magic as well. It, it, basically, if we would try to get to when we have more streams to open any of the card games, if we can. Yeah, this is only phase zero right now. Guys. Exactly. This is phase zero. This yeah. is this, a lot of phases. My stream is going to be the test market for this. Now, the other thing we're talking about doing is breaks, which is we would start it off on magic and then we would eventually scale it to Pokemon to where we would have breaks that we that you could buy and we would open them here. On the oh, yeah. Um, so for you guys who don't know, a break is, uh, let's use magic for example. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start, before we even crack the packs, before we even open the box, we start bids. So for, let's say, for every red card, well, the starting bid will be like five bucks, right? And then you guys will bid and then the winner at, uh, yeah, we'll get all the red cards whenever we bust them. It's kind of like uh, buying your cards before you see them. Like, you know yeah. the cards are going to be in there, but oh, yeah. you're not really sure. Um, but if you only want the red cards from your War of the Spark box, if you only want your black or white cards from your War of the Spark box, if you only want the gold cards, because that's also a thing in Magic. Uh, so, super cool. Got another one? That's another three. One. Or that's four, technically, but that's three different ones. I'm like DG Khaled over here. I'm saying, another I need one. you. I need you. Russell was the bad juju. I need you to. Hey, hey, you got the you got that fish energy, all right? Yep. And we got another great the ultra rare. Oh my lord, that is like what? What in between a pack, right? Or yeah, is that just back to back. No, one pack, one pack in between. Ooh. I'm telling you what, today is a good day. Even if we don't pull the Pikachu, I'm not saying that not the Charizard because we're pulling the Charizard. Hey, I mean, we're gonna get that Charizard, right? I can smell. It. Smell those ones and zeros. I would like to pull two: one from Vivid Voltage and one from uh, Darkness of Blaze. But yeah, we we see the progression, and we know you guys are interested in watching us open packs and things like that. And I know you guys, you loyal, are here every stream. You watch us. We can, and you can show. This is a cool way to show everybody what you get, so that you can show off your collection. So if you wanted to. Let's say, like I was saying with the breaks, you know, if you want all the red cards or whatever, mm -hmm. or with Pokemon, we could even do it by types, like yeah, yeah, yeah. types on there, and th things. Yeah, if you wanted. And if also, it, Russ, hey, hey, we'll find yeah. this for you. Yeah, we'll Dud, if you want that to happen, if you want to order a box of Genesis Impact and have us open it on the stream, we'll work it out. Hit us up in Discord, and we will absolutely do it. Tennis Rabbit, welcome to the stream. Yo, what's up, Tennis Rabbit? I thank you for the follow. Yo, thank you so much. Yeah, and the the Friday stream, and I'll go ahead and tell you, you'll have JT and Mark here on the stream okay. at six o'clock right. on good. the Yu-Gi-Oh stream. So I'm super excited about Ooh. that. I know you are too. I love that JT guy, you know. Yeah, and I I know you're a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh as well, or used to be. Uh, hey, I love all card games. Yu-Gi-Oh is Yu -Gi -Oh is my my pet my my pet card game. Oh, until Digimon comes out, then we'll see. Then no. we'll see, but. If it ever comes out. Uh, I'm not going to get started. Bandai. Start. Positivity. Positivity. Positivity for 2021, the year of the fish, man. Okay. Bandai, listen. Me and you. Heart from, to heart. From me to you. Heart to heart. heart. Get your crap together. <laughs> get us our Digimon. We want it. You're kicking butt in Dragon Ball, and you're getting us our Dragon Ball. I, I appreciate that because I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Mm -hmm. But where's my Digimon? <sighs> Ooh. To be fair, they did drop the ball with Super 2 at the start, so it's just growing yeah. pains. It's just growing pains. We'll get it. And this will all be, this will make some for some pretty sweet memes here in six months after I'm, after the fourth or fifth Digimon stream, and I'm talking your guys' ear, ears off the back, so. Oh, I, I can't wait. Yeah, there'll be some sweet memes. Because from the, from what we've seen so far, and from the set releases and what up hey glorian germanitan oh hey next giveaway in chat guys look hey. at the look at what troll and toad said hey just be let me say chat. what Bye. packs well i'm so glad Thanks. you asked let's cut over to my fish man here and let's show him the packs we've got cosmic eclipse that we're giving away chance at the adp Ooh, at the 
ADP, uh, also some other team ups. Uh, Blastoise Pip is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Sol Golio uh, Lunala is also pretty cool. Uh, and that's all the cover cards I can see right now. Basically, uh, <laughs> well, then you also do have, I believe, the secret rares in there as well, which are the yeah. four, like Mimikyu, the Pikachu in red, and oh, uh, the coughing. Yep. Yep. The coughing. Um, what was Exadrill as one as well? And then you have. There's a water Pokemon, I can't think of it. Uh, Piplup. Piplup. Yep. Piplup and Dawn. Yep. Yeah. That peak. by the way, that peak. And one of what my favorites. Grim Snarl. Whoa, one of my favorites to use in the game. Grim Snarl V looks so cool. Let me say, when I first saw this, I just want the kill card and whatever the kill cards come out of it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hey. Let me say, so this is. One of my absolute favorite Pokemon to use in Sword and Shield. I did not realize that was hair for the longest time. That's not muscle. I thought that was like exposed, like muscle that has like armor or something on it. No, that's hair. Oh, yeah. I thought he was kind of go for like the younger Tagura brother vibe from like Yu Hakusho. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought he was going for. I mean, say. Where he's like all buff and that's his demon armor. I mean, say, it's it's crazy to me. He's he's super powerful in the game, and I love him. Uh, oh, you got a little, ooh, look at him. So good. that's get the little Mewby. That's a very good Mew, by the way. I mean, it's a very good Mew. It's waving high, like waving like how I am to all my chatters. Hey, my little Kuwabara. So Kuwabara, <laughs> Musuke, <laughs> so Mirameshi. I learned a lot from being on the fish tank last week, and. Fish kind of got me into looking at other sites to see where we can pick up like classic Pokemon and things yeah. like that. And Heritage.com, I totally forgot about them, mm -hmm. where you can pick up some really cool items if you want to bid on them if you've got the money to do yes. it. Yes, uh, if you're in the if you're in the mood for like any collectibles, uh, check out Heritage uh, Heritage Auctions. Uh, hashtag not sponsored, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Um, you think so fantastic. Okay to, would it be okay to show those on the stream? It's an auction site, right? Uh, yeah, it's an auction site, so we'll show it. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys this. Ooh. This is a 1999 Wizards of the Coast unlimited face set, uncut proof sheet with 110 cards. Ooh, hit him with that control plus. Oh, oh, give him that, give him that zoom in. Whoa. It's not working? Oh, no. yeah. Well, no, it's not working. Oh, there it is. There you go. So, here we go. Yeah, because I've been looking at sports card stuff, so. Yeah, so. Some of the stuff is a pain. So, yes. There we go. The original, the, or this is oh. 113, or 110 cards. Starts off the bid at $23,000. 23K, the auction goes live February 1st, too, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you have, so it'll start at Magneton. Yeah, what did you pick up, Keith, by the way? What, uh, what Team Rocket cards did you pick up? Oh, yeah, what'd you pick? Because that's like I've been talking about on the stream, one of my favorite sets. Um, so this is super cool, and you can tell it's authentic because of the uh, test markers on the far right-hand side. Uh, yeah. The, the multicolor, it looks like the Polaroid logo on the side of it. Oh, yeah. And you and it starts off at Magneton, and it goes all the way to Raichu. And, yes, that is every card, every holo from base set. Yep. And you get multiple copies of them. So there it is right there. If we want to zoom in a little bit more, there he is. There's Charizard. There's a big boy. That's a big lizard boy. And here, if you look right over here, there's another copy of them right there. Uh, the dude, uh, it's not graded since it's an uncut sheet. Uh, those are really hard um, to get graded, uh, especially because most of the time these are just rolled up too. Yeah. Um, let me say, but to get something like this, this is something you rarely see mm. um, out in the wild. Yes. Okay. Oh. oh, I thought these didn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, and from 1999 to now, I mean, that's... Oh, you, you certainly you, can cut it, King. Let me say. Now, hey, if you, you buy it, you can cut it if you want it. Let me say, but you could not get these graded as individual cards. Mm. You might be able there's some weird situation it involves you knowing a guy at pca <laughs> yeah okay yeah for sure. without yep. a a legitimate way let's just say i'm sure if you contact pca and you tell them what might, you want yeah uh then they could come up with a way of get of 
cutting it or something. But you would have to get them professionally cut yes. to where they, they will match up everything. Yes. Because the one the reason why proof sheets are usually sold, at least with some of the newer sets, is because they have a lot of manufacturing errors, yes. such as officer ring on the back when it comes to the actual cards themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, if it got printed wrong, where it's like sideways, so like your middle section, like through here, will have a couple correct cards uh, or... Any other errors that you can think of that uh, usually why they would have these? Uh, the misfoil stamp on the printer is like misaligned. Oh, yeah. So that could be one of these sheets. Like this could be a miscut or a misprinted sheet because mm -hmm. you're always seeing the front. They're not showing you the back. Right. So it could be just the front of it and the back of it just, they could all be us upside down. Ooh, could you imagine the price though? If, it, if that's a misprint wave, like, oh, you have you almost, imagine? You have tripled your price. Yes. Oh, you have tripled your price. Easily. Uh, I mean, the bid's already 23k, and that's starting. I think that's super low. This is no way, like, this doesn't go past 60. Uh, Looks like this is so rare. The, the, can, you, can I pull up Discord? Sure. All right, guys, hold on one second. I'm going to minimize that. Amazing to have it for Yeah, exactly, Heath. Uh, I think uh, Jared Bear also said it, too. Um, this frame would look absolutely amazing. Can I pull up Discord on this computer? Ooh, hey. No. hey you know what? Hey, Fishman will pull some strings over at Heritage. You know? We'll see what we can do. That would look amazing, right? And Because I don't believe in walls. That would look amazing. Right. Right as the entryway. Right as you step into this hollow domain. You see that. Hanging up in the air. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not <laughs> Oh, I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? <laughs> All right, yeah, vamping. Oh, uh, it's so, okay. Yeah, let's just. Guys. Okay, you do it. You guys are doing you. I'm going say, we're like the man behind the camera hey, handle it. He's so clicking you... here. Okay, so it, it, we don't have the most refined setup, so we're just trying to make work with what we have, and it's really cool. Uh, we're taking apparently, steps. We're taking apparently, steps. we got really cool uh, stuff to show. Hey, Rare Joker! Ooh, what yo, what's up, Rare Joker? Cool. Well, yeah, Don't just work here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he raided me during my uh, podcast last weekend. Did he? Oh, yeah. yeah. He says, "How'd your podcast go, buddy?" Oh, beautiful. Uh, whenever you do stuff live, issues happen. Oh, exactly. We said this is our time to vamp for a little bit, so we'll just kind of talk about whatever we want here at this moment. Yeah, no, I mean, it was it was fine. I accidentally uh, double layered my mic, um, so that happens sometimes. Like so, I, I, I caught it after forty minutes. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grade it, get it sandwiched between two windows for, from PSA. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 Rob, Rob, Rob from PSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, new way of grading the sandwich grade. Now, see, <laughs> see, you put, you just grab two giant windows and you just sandwich the card in between them. People, people have been complaining about how you package these cards, how you package these package your credit cards right now, they get damaged all the way in. Now you just got two windows, you just smash them together. Basically, PSA has kind of changed the way they've graded here recently with uh, a bunch of new stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. We are seeing, it's weird in Pokemon, well, until I saw Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage was different with, uh, you saw those miscuts that we saw with the Colossal and the Hyper Rares that uh, Palmer, did you see those? Uh, kind of? Where they're crooked, they're like sideways. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so... The best pull in Cosmic Eclipse. What's the best pull? Mm -hmm. I guess ADP right yeah, now. Yeah, uh, ADP. Uh, in art, ADP, right? Oh! Oh, the, the, the burrito! Who made it? <laughs> huh? The, the burrito. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, Young wife! I can't do that. That is awesome! We oh, got the, the beefy dino burrito! Oh. Well, I mean, that's our emote. Like, yeah, yeah. It's done. Ever say... Our, Ooh. Uh, and ADP stands for uh, Arceus Style Gapalkia. Oh. Is a burrito a sandwich? Ending now, Primo. Is a burrito a sandwich? Mm. A sandwich requires two pieces of bread. A tortilla wrap is only one piece of bread. I'm with my man here. Hot dog bun? This is only one piece of bread. It's just cut in half. Mmm. That's just, uh, hey. Well, technically in the bun. I don't want to start a civil war and have to walk out of a podcast. So hold, on, hold on, hold on, In the hamburger bun the same thing? No, 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 because it's cut in half. So then it's two pieces right there. See, no, the hot dog bun is just one singular piece. You're, it's just cut and crevice. Okay, so a sandwich is either two pieces of bread or a split roll. 
or a split roll. Mm, okay, a tortilla is not split though. No, a tortilla is not split, but like a hot dog. Okay, 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 okay. All right. See, I thought this entire argument was just going to be based on the burrito. I didn't think I would be personally attacked for my hot dog viewpoint. All right. Hey, uh, they're they are attacking me, chat, and I just want you to know that I am staging my rebellion right now as we speak. I should be opening packs because we still have like another forty something of these open. Here we go. Okay, uh, who won our giveaway? By the way, I know we were giving away a pack. <laughs> did we? Uh, did we ever? Did we ever roll for that? Yeah, get that giveaway. Peace, my boy. Peace. You won. You won a cosmic eclipse booster pack. Ooh, we got that big buck. All right, Heath. You know the deal. Do you want us to open it, or do you want to send it to you? Yeah, Heath. 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 Heath, my dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, uh, hey, we got a hit down. All right, how many packs we got? We got 35 Darkness Blaze, and we got 41 Vivid Voltage, so let's go to Vivid oh, Boy, yeah, we better start ripping these rappers, these virtual rappers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, we got a, another little bit different segment this week. I, uh, we'll get to that here in just a minute. Let's see what Heath wants to do. Heath, what do you want to do, buddy? You want us to open it, or do you want yourself to open it? Does that make sense? I think it did. Let's see. Bracket. Whoa! Two hyper rares out of Vivivoltage. Okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Heath wants to crack it. Ooh. Give the fans what they want. Give them what they crave. Yes. Oh. Oh, Lauren. All right. Uh, one. The four, Keith. Uh, Heath. There we go. Not Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of Keen. I'm thinking of uh. Keith David from Goliath from uh, Gargoyles. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I have no idea. Or the Arbiter no. from Halo. Ooh, oh, yeah, he was that. He was the Arbiter from Halo, yeah. Oh, he's also in Saints Row 4 as your uh, VP. Yeah. Oh, dude, Autumn's playing that right now. And, uh, and I'm having so much fun to watch her. And it's, it's hilarious. All right, so I'm just going to pick out a random pack. Right, just pick, okay, yeah. I'm interested to see what you pull. Let's see if you have the magic touch. Pick out a pack, Drew. Pick out a pack. Pick out a pack. We're going with the Blastoise Piplup one. Ooh, Blastoise Piplup. I know if we pull a Blastoise, somebody here would be happy. I they, mean, they love them turtles. Hey, with everyone trying to play Rain Dance Patrol versus Toad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Ugh. I have, Even I didn't see Rain Dance as much back in the day as I'm seeing it now. Everybody wants I, to play Rain I Dance. I don't know why people like those turtles so much. All right. Turtles so are then evil. It's uh, three to the back? Yep. Or wait, three to the front? Three to the front. Three to the front. Okay. Yep. And then that should be your energy card. That last card, Ooh. but you can go ahead and pop it. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. We got the mm, Bella Bella and Racing Man. Hey, I'm gonna look these up a little bit. Yep. Got the Dartrix. Cosby on. Oh, look at the little boy just chilling, just so relaxing some clovers. Got the Ape. Oh, look at him just monkeying around with that tail. Monkey boy. Oh, got the Earth Snake. We got the Onyx Man. Rocks oh, we got the pet pig just no, so relaxing, cool. just chilling out. We got the Alon Sandshirt. So this is my favorite alone form, by the way. Yes. Oh, he looks so cute. Oh, and Sand Slash is awesome. Yeah, it looks like he has a tiny little igloo bay, uh, yeah. on him, too. We got the Snow Run. <gasps> then you're for your reverse. You got the Passimian. Oh, hey. Just, just a bunch of boys doing boy things. Mm -hmm. And then your rare is... <laughs> Paleo sand. sand. You got pile sand and then fire energy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Heath. And we have okay. your co-cart off to the side. Okay, so while you've been doing this, uh, there's been an argument in the chat about what, what's going on about turtles. Uh, I'll read you some of these comments that they have been saying. <sighs> is, is this if, another, it were, if it weren't for turtles, is New Chip York harassing me again. If it weren't for turtles, New York would have fallen to the foot. If it weren't for turtles, Jack Black would have never learned kung fu. If it weren't for Turtles, Aang would have never defeated Oze. And Turtles are the best. Mm. Can you guess who that all came from? Mm. Was it Turtle Man? My arch nemesis, Turtle Man. I should have fucking one day, you reptilian overlord. You might plague the streets of Troll and Tovania right now. Is this, right. this turtle that you're talking about Stop. a beard? Is it a bearded turtle? I don't want to reveal <laughs> his secret identity. <laughs> Because our I battle will be <laughs> I will really help. All right, let's see here. What are we opening? Yeah, I forgot. We, we've been 
We've been going so off topic. It's just, we. It's, what? It's weird for me because I don't have physical packs. And like, this is kind of a different setup for me. What even is a show? Yeah. All right. And, I, and like I said earlier, why, 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 why did I get two of the same one, really? Okay. We got two Tarakians. Yeah. We got two of the punchy boy. Like I said, today's going to be a little more lax. So since we are doing digital, we yeah, do want to. This is a relaxed bit. After we open these cards, we do mm -hmm. want to see. What we can have to maybe start building the deck too, mm. so or at least get the framework for a deck, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah see what supporters we have, and we'll go yep. from there. Oh, we got a hollow side guard. Ooh, that's good. I like the art for that. Yep. And it so, looks like he's uh, gonna use a Dragon Ball Z beam attack. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's see what else we've got, got on. Me. We got on the agenda today. Uh -huh. uh, we talked about the band. We talked about. So how have you looked into Shining Fates or? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I haven't. Uh, any like big things that you want to point my attention to? Okay, so Shining Fates is next. So it's another one of a Hidden Fates champion pass off. Okay, uh, so like the the alert. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, baby. Ooh, the big boy. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so he reminds me of the Mountain Titan from Hercules. <laughs> That's exactly what he is. That's exactly what he is. Okay, so for me personally, I'm more excited about this pool than maybe pulling the Pikachu because this thing has been slept on and is now being seen in the meta. He is ridiculous <laughs> of how good he is. People are finally able to see him for him and all this. Well, oh, goodness. Let me, let me explain. So eruption shot for one fighting energy. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is an energy card, this attack does 90 more damage and attach that card to this Pokemon. And what's its base damage? Uh, 40. Oh, so you naturally hit for 130. Exactly. And then G-Max Boulder, 240 for three fighting and a combo. All right. So most uh, Eternius is dark and is weak to fighting. So yeah. you one shot if you hit an energy. Exactly. Stop. So, oh boy, that's spicy. So, I like that. A lot of people are actually now starting to realize that he is very good. And so, my feeling was was getting something like him, teaming him up with that Metagross, to where he's gotten no a retreat cost. We start taking some hit, okay. get him out, yeah, and get him in out. for somebody else. Okay, yeah, no, I can see how that works. I'd be saying he's stupid good. He's stupid ridiculous. I love how good oh. he is. And I think he was originally when this set first came out, he was going for like five dollars. Even the hyper rare was going for like five dollars. Yep, yep, that sounds about right for yep. uh, what people think as bulk uh, V maxes or ultra rare. Yeah, exactly. And he was very slipped on. Now he's gotten up to about the twenty or thirty dollar range. So it's really cool. I'm I'm really that's happy. A, that's a good stonks. Yeah, that's good stonks. Hey, speaking of Metagross, we've got the reverse, and we got. Why are you guys thinking all the turtles for? Are you thanking them for their delicious soup? Turtle soup is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go on ahead. I think I would just throw out that bar right there. No, uh, you're fine. Just take a swing at some, you know, turtles. They're probably on their backs yeah. or something right uh, now. Apparently you're fired. Okay. Hey, you can't fire me. I'm the heart and soul of this one. He is. And I, I, I can't do this alone. We, we can't, we can't leave right now. I can't do this alone. <laughs> it's Please. Okay. I'm too powerful. I've grown too strong. I'm twice as powerful. Twice so, as deadly from episode one. He's so powerful. Look, this man is so powerful. He was on the Versus stream last week, immediately followed by his own stream, the Fish Tank, and now he's on the Pokemon stream. I'm just now, taking over. I I'm basically, now we got to get you on the Magic stream and the Yu-Gi-Oh stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was about to be like, oh, I thought I did the Magic stream. No, I did the show notes for the Magic yeah, stream. Yeah, exactly. Once. So, by the way, Jeremy's got some killer stuff coming up for that this Friday. Ooh, I, think they're gonna, I think they're going to tackle the pre-release mm -hmm. for Kaldheim on okay. Arena. Okay. And now with that, hopefully, and I don't know if this is going to be in the show notes or not, he's going to help finish his commander deck. He's going to get help to finish that commander deck. So I'm super that's excited sweet. for that. Okay. That's awesome because he's also going to be on the fish tank. Uh, here's Thursday. <laughs> the, the root of the queue up sandstorm. Yeah, there you go. Where, where's my sandstorm? Where's my sandstorm in the chat? Like I say, we're making him work overtime today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, I can't really think of uh, a lot of the... It's been very light on Pokemon news because they've been very hush-hush. Yeah, the, they're gearing right up now. for something, right? Like, yeah. Definitely a calm before this one. Yeah, because February 27th, that's when we have the official 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we already know they're going to do a direct, a Pokemon direct, 
to announce a bunch of stuff for this year. Um, we hopefully will get the announcement of the new sets coming out. Um, we'll actually start seeing one of the new sets um, past Battle Styles. It hit Japan probably at the end of February, early March. Ooh, okay. Why do you think the theme for that set's going to be? Well, it's funny you say that because there was a trademark, and we talked about this in the live stream, where for V Fusion. Okay. So, huh? So I the, like it. The only no. way, the only thing I can think of, honestly, is we we haven't gotten rid of Team Up, but because they're still in the meta, but the tag team cards. This could be a way of doing the tag team style cards in the V form, or if you remember the Ho O and Ludia and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I was about from to, the Heart Soul. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say that. Been like, yeah, it could be like the Legends card. Yeah, exactly. Like Silver. So it could be something like that. Um. It's hopefully they're a bit better than that. <laughs> I hope they are too, because those cards, while they look yeah. cool and they're very expensive, God, maybe expensive. like two, like uh, we, like it'll be like the Mister Mime from like the uh, EX Ruby sets, where it's like the same card, but they have two different abilities and the artwork's facing two different ways. That'd be cool. And then if you have them both on the field, they do something else. I was That'd just be awesome. I was just waiting for them just to turn them into Transformers, where you take two Pokemon, you just run them into one. Oh, 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 I thought you meant, like, you just pick up the card and you transform it. Like, no, you just no, do no, origami, no. right? No, 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 no. Just basically, you take, like, you take a Charizard. So, we'll take the team up, the Reshiram and the Charizard uh -huh. for the GX, and you just combine them into one big mythical dragon. Ooh. With, like, a Mega Sword. Exactly. Ooh, I yeah. That. They're still individual Pokemon, but then you combine them into one big thing. Rand B, Rand. congratulations for winning the giveaway for the pack. Rand B. All right, so Rand B, uh, what would you like us to do? Would you like us to open your pack live on the stream, or would you like for us to send it to you and you open it yourself? So we're Man. just blazing through these packs. I mean, hey, you're the one over there ripping wrappers and getting hey, all gold. I may say, it, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. If you were in children's book, you would have oh, your golden God. ticket. Another hyper rare. Or Beetle V Max. Mm. Which or Beetle V Max is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um once in your turn, this if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's good. Yeah, very good. And then G Max Wave, which is 50 plus for one grass and one colorless. This attack does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so it's uh, kind of like the Tapu Lele attack, right? Exactly. Yeah. Correct, correct. It sounds like, yes. <laughs> sound, or Beetle. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't even get me started. Beetle Max is online. <laughs> oh, don't get me started about Warzone right now. I'm so upset with that Rose skin. Okay, so what's what's going on with that? Because I haven't played Warzone in forever. It's just a new premium skin that came out that's just all black, and they blend into the shadows in the map, and you can barely see them. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, so it's a it's a skin that gives you an actual advantage in game. So we went back to Darkness of Blaze, and we got a Sizzler V. I, I agreed to do, but, you know, Halo doesn't have a good game right now. No, they were supposed to have one by now. <laughs> it looked like 360. <laughs> it looked like a Halo 3 <laughs> JPEG. And the uh, face. Oh, God. It was so funny. I, I love how we, this is kind of where we're kind of going off topic, but we don't care because it's my stream. We do what we want. Um, I am a huge gamer outside of work. Like, I play Xbox and I'm starting to play more on PC and stuff. Um, I'm a Halo geek. I love Halo. And it makes me so mad that when I got my new Xbox, I got the Series X that I did not have Halo hey, Infinite how it was promised. Hey, Sensor Scorch Beast. Not bad. Ooh, oh, I really like that. I really like the Sensor Scorch deck. Yeah, it's that really good. It's really cool. That's another big meta deck right now that mm -hmm. everybody's using. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad it's a fire deck that's not rushes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, but I'm super upset that I did not get my uh, Halo Infinite because the story, the rumored story and everything, it just looks so good. Hey, my it's wife would be happy if we got a Pulte Guys reverse. Pulte Guys. Sensity and both the guys are two new favorite Pokemon. Oh, well, I mean, they're they're super cute. Ooh, I have a friend who really likes the Al Creamy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm hoping to get an Al Creamy V Max tonight when I open Champions because I still haven't got one. Big kick. The the best thing I've opened so far has been the Dreadnought V Max and the Dreadnought V Max Hyper Rare. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that's. 
Uh, oh, the battleship turtle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but they're just turtles. Nobody cares about turtles. Yeah, I mean, who really cares about turtles? Yeah. Uh, uh, I I love the Master Chief Collection, but I just play co-op with my friends now. So I'm sad to just respond in chat. You know, keep it going, vamp a little. Let me say, I still haven't. I still haven't downloaded Mel Metal, one of my Mel favorite Metal. Pokemon. I don't care if the cards bad or not i just love the pokemon so i really like his design for especially because he's a pokemon go guy yeah like he's a pokemon go mon like he looks really cool yeah um hey, did you ever watch the anime where he evolved and everything on the show no as so he he got you know he's in sun and moon uh-huh. and ash ash gets one he gets a metal tan okay and he makes like a little squeaky noise like, just like a little squeaks and then all of a sudden he goes and then he evolves and he goes Metal, metal, and it's just like <laughs> this huge, like, like, because he makes like the little, you know, the, yeah. uh, he's like, who did you call ugly in <laughs> high school? Exactly. So he he had a huge, uh, well, he hit puberty early. Let's just yeah. say that. There you go. I didn't like I didn't like the Sun and Moon anime. I felt like they just handed Ash the league trophy, right? Like they yeah, just, they did. Like, Here you go. Because in X and Y, that league challenge, like it was Ash actually practicing and grinding, and he actually had a decent team and like had actual strategies going into his fights in X and Y. And I thought for sure he was going to win. And then the Mega Charizard kills the Greninja and yeah. everything ruined. And then they're like, oh well, we're bad riders. Here you go, kid. <laughs> You well, win Sun and Moon. It, you read the Aloha League. It's not just that. Look who he won the Pokemon League with. Okay, so how many other kids there, or people there, had access to an Ultra Beast? Yeah, Ultra Beast. Also, uh, so noise for sure. Yeah, the Rock Rough Final Fight. Right? Like, yes. The Lycanroc final fight. Like, I understand what they were going for because the emotional through line with Rockruff, right? They yeah. did that so amazing. They just messed it up right at the finish line. It's <laughs> like the emotional through line is right there. And like, you can see Rockruff evolve as a character, which is for a, for a Pokemon that doesn't have any dialogue. It's hard to do for a character, yes, right? Yes, it is. Uh, and then you just punt it at the very end because, oh, well, you suddenly... Got straw. You did the bleach thing. Sudden wave of power. One big attack. You win. Yep. Good. Congrats. Love it. I, I think but. my look went a bit voltage because I'm not pulling anything in darkness plays. Uh, by the way, the worst noise for any of the. Hey, there we go. That's Ooh. actually really good. Oh, I like that Pierce. Yeah, Pierce is really good. He's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually thought that was a really. If you're a dark type trainer, like if you like playing dark type Pokemon, there you go. Uh, Guzzlords is the worst. Guzzlord and those Ultra Beasts have some of the weirdest sounds. Guzzlords is just a high man screech. Yeah, exactly. That's what Guzzlords is. Someone There's, was going to do it. I took. Oh, that's that's Krabby's. Oh, yeah. That's Krabby's and Kingler. Oh, oh. And then it's just. <laughs> because it's a crab and it's mad. What's the thing? It's a crab. I it's guess it, 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 it depends on the Pokemon. So, like, Bulbasaur, bah, 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 sorry. he says his name. Mm. But, like... Chaba. Yeah, I don't know. About the, that, that Are story. you... Hey, don't make fun of these Pokemons and their speech impediments, okay? Way, okay, ma'am. Okay, producer man. All right. By the way, I'm pretty sure y'all could hear Kelly. Can y'all can y'all hear him? That was a because, very passion. Because very I was passion. rewatching the, I was rewatching the verses from this week, and some of the stuff that Kelly and I were talking about, where we were making fun of fish and uh, Elena, y'all could hear us on the mic. So that's good. That's so good. I'm glad y'all that. got to hear that to where he. He's got hated. That's good. I like I like a good roasting as I'm playing card game. Yeah. I love it. Mm. It just it, it just really my shout casting days. It really depends on the Pokemon because I mean Squirtle, of course it's Squirtle, Squirtle. It sounds Squirtle, like that. Squirtle. And then Pikachu says his name. So I used to be able to do like the first like hundred noises. Mm-hmm. Ditto doesn't say anything. He just ditto. <laughs> like <laughs> that's seriously like my six my period. Yeah, he should have been. With the way he sounds, it's it's, and then Kingler, his evolved form is okay, okay. It sounds it sounds like that deep baritone cookie. Yeah, you guys are also overlooking a good a good hefty chunk of Krabby's and Kingler's dialogue is just them going and then foam coming out of their mouth. Yes, exactly. Like, 
Hey. Which is how every crab talks. I should know. I live with four. Oh, damn it! You got a piece! I'm standing up for this. I just got my title back. There he is! I got him! I got my title back, baby! Boom! Alright, so we got the Charizard VMAX. Awesome. And I'm glad we got it digitally, too, because we wanted to base a deck around him. Mm -hmm. That'd be really neat, because he... Yeah. He is seeing some good play right now. Yeah. So I mean, plus it's just we just swag all over him, right? Yeah, and plus, I mean, I think the biggest thing is it's not necessarily with the G Max Wildfire because you still have to discard two fire energy. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that basically his first attack, his claw slash, it's just three double colorless, and you can get that out no problem and just have it transfer to him. Ah, that's cool. So mm -hmm. we got it, and I'm glad Fish was here to see it. I, have I redeemed myself, Fish, in your eyes? You've passed the first test. Oh yeah, we still got to get the charge out of good voltage. Yes, one is done. You've not fully reclaimed your title yet, young Druid. Young Druizard. Young Druizard. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. Yes. That's hype. Yeah, we got some Komodo hype. And B. Oh, did he? Okay, cool. Well, let's switch over and let's show that pack. And we'll wait here. Uh huh. That one? Okay. What is that so one? Sogaleo and Lunala. Ooh. We pulled that for somebody last week. Oh, yeah. We pulled, that, we pulled that. the uh, Ultron art for somebody last week. Uh, 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 it's been a while since we pack. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what they get. Then three. Three, and then, yep. Oh, uh, flippy. Oh, hey, we got Bell Bella and Bryson, man. Uh, there we go. Ooh, we got the stunning electric energy. Bell, Bell, and Bryson, man. There we go. All of those cards. Ooh, Robo Pass. Damn, big nose. Igly Buff. Igly Buff. Got, got the, the Slugma. Mm, the big goo. The big lava slug. Got Chin Chow. Mm hmm. Got the Cosmog. Oh, hey, that goes well with the Cosmo. And then we opened up. Oh, we got this Pancham. Yeah, and look at him. He's a little little ruffian. I'm going to go cause some big shenanigans. We got the Drillbur. <gasps> then reverse foil seam. Yes. Oh. Look at the red, my guys. Hey. Oh, we got the Waylord. Hey, that's all right. It's hey, Waylord's cool. Yeah, it's not a bad Waylord either. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good Waylord. All right, so we'll put that up here with theirs. We need post-its. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, we had some around here somewhere. <laughs> Tell you not, when we go to do that, we always lose them every time. What? What well, do you mean this is not an AS? What? Hey, everything that I think happens, okay? If I think this is an ASMR stream, it turns into an ASMR stream, okay? So she wills it. So I'm going to talk about some of the other streams we've got going this oh, week. Yeah. So oh, yeah. That was we, what you were talking about. We talked to, Hey! Whoa! whoa! We got another big dragon. Fix that. We got this full art oh. Salamance B. Now I want that Salamance B Max because it's really good as well and seeing a lot of play. Um, so we got the first stream tomorrow, which mm -hmm. you were successful in your stream last week. Yeah. And uh, you were running... Hey, Vickabolt B too. So Ooh. what was... The back-to-back -back ultras. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back ultras. I'm pretty good. Um, oh, all right, this is our this is our last pack of Darkness of Blaze. Let's see. Ah, uh, Thiebel. I'm gonna scrap my pants and just sheer anticipation. Please don't, because I'm sitting next to you. Nah, it's fine. Nah, I would also. I have, I have to be here for an extra hour. Okay. It's yeah, fine. exactly. So, kind of explain your deck, of, like what you used in your. Oh. So, so we had the clip of the deck profile, but. Like your main strategy going into what you were thinking about it, explain that your deck because you're running a dragon dragon Pokemon deck. Yes, uh, so I love playing Trainer Lock. Uh, Trainer Lock is a form of control in the Pokemon card game. And I love playing. You got another Amazing Rare. Oh, you know what? Every time I start talking, you just crack an Amazing Rare. So I'm just gonna keep talking while you're opening. Yeah, you go ahead. And just our collection's gonna be lit. I'll just I'll just react. Say. I'll just be over. Here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. By the way, that, we're only missing. Two amazing rares now. 
on the account. We're missing Rayquaza and Zacian. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, Dra Trainer Lock Trainer is Lock. a form of control in the Pokemon card game, and I like playing control. Uh, Trainer Lock, uh, especially for base set through Neo, which is a very skill-intensive format. Um, and train lock is a very, uh, very skill intensive deck because if you lock yourself under your own train lock where your deck is almost 40 trainer cards, if you set up your train lock before you set up your win con, you lose the game for yourself because you need your trainers to set up your win cons and so forth. Um, and also train lock doesn't auto beat everything in the format. Uh, there is tug and pull, there is counterplay to it. Um, it rain dance is a, uh, I would deem it as a combo based aggro deck where, they put so much damage on the board that it's hard for the control deck to deal with. So the main goal of Dragon Plume is to set up the Dark Pile Plume, which turns off trainer cards. Yep. And you set up a Dragon Knight, and then probably a second Dragon Knight, or the Snorlax, uh, which the promo Snorlax, which stops retreating. Wh uh, which, it's the Dragon Knight from Fossil, correct? Yes, the step-in one. Yeah. Uh, so the game plan for the deck is to soup up a Dragonite uh, from Fossil with uh, a bunch of metal energies, uh, metal energy uh, for base set. Uh, for base Neo format has a ruling where it protects your Dragonite from taking 10 damage. So it blocks 10 damage per hit. And the downside is because your Dragonite's not metal, he will not do 10 damage. Uh, his damage is decreased by 10. And that's per metal energy attached to him. He starts off at 100 base HP. Mm -hmm. So he's already fairly tanky for everything in the format, and whenever you add on essentially 10 HP energies to him, mm -hmm. it makes him really hard to kill. So you just set up your win con that way, and you just hide behind your wall of flowers or your big immovable object in the form of the Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that's pretty awesome because you don't see, honestly, because trainers have kind of, I'm not going to say go, gone away, mm -hmm. but... It seems like a big thing that we're changing is some of the stuff that used to be trainers that we see were are now being used on Pokemon abilities versus having the old school trainers. So you're seeing so like in XY, the biggest thing I can think of is are, are we starting to crackle? Are we good? Are we okay? Are we good? Oh, we're crackling. All right, we're gonna take a real quick break, Time guys. Out, Give us guys. a second. Test, test, yeah. one, two. Hey. Test. Serving it up nice and Test. Hot. How, how we sound there, people? We sound good? Hey, 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 yo, hey. Hey, we're going over here and get a moon pie in LA, all right? Mm -hmm. Who's crackling? Oh, no. Is it me? I feel like it's me. Is it fish or is it me? I feel like it's me. Well, it could be a short. Yes. Oh, it's uh, both, both of us. Oh, fantastic.
Fuck it, Sage. Please. Don't accept it. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> well, you can you hear us now, chat? Are we still crackly? Oh, yeah. There you go. Hopefully it isn't drivers. I don't think it's drivers. I think it's cables here. Are we crackling? Yes, yeah, still crackling. Thank you so much for the raid. We're having uh, audio issues. Chad, are we still crackly or are we good? You love me, Travis. Thank you very much. That says Prisma. Prisma. Uh, Prisma. <laughs> I can't see it. Over here. Yes, still crackly. Um, Maybe seeing the side. Do we want to unhook the cables again? We will, we will try one more thing, chat, and then if we can't fix it, we're just going to have to be some crackly little guys. We'll try not to as much. All right, chat. Last try here. Are we crackly or not? Yes. Still crackly. It absolutely is our cables, chat. We'll have to order new cables. Can y'all deal with the crackling for a little bit? Yeah, let's just finish out the show if we can't yeah. get that. My mouse says don't sweat it. Yeah. Give us just one second, chat. I'm trying one last ditch effort. <laughs> the hell, man. All right, chat. We've got no noise filters on this one, so uh, I hope it works. Uh, mind the peas. Sounds muffled and crackling. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it.
Oh, actually, somebody says that sounds good. good. This sounds good. Okay. All right, we're not gonna mess with it anymore. Okay, we're done. I'm running away. Okay, let's go. Back behind. The- <laughs> that was the man behind the curtain. The producer man. I fixed it. Yeah, he, he fixed, fixed it. it. Yay! Yay! We're back. We're back. Ooh. He fixed it. Yeah, that was Kelly. Yeah. So, real quick, uh, before, you know, we, there was some waste of time there. We've got about 20, 25 more minutes of stream. I wanted to show this off real quick. We've got some stuff here. So, usually on the Pokemon streams, we have the safe showcase. But I wanted to do something kind of a, hey, Gerudo Bear, again. Bear. Oh, no. Yeah, first one. You didn't win. You, you won a web credit. Web credit, that was it. Gerudo Bear. Gerudo Bear, congratulations. Oh so God. something I wanted to do for today, by the way, let's go ahead and open the pack. Uh, does he want it open? I, oh, Gerudo Bear, do you want it open? <laughs> My man. Yours. Yes. All right. That, that's the reason why I say go ahead and open the pack because Gerudo Bear is one enough on my streams. Huh, huh, you pick. Pick which one. That's one. All right. The ADP one. All right. Gerudo Bear, I picked you an ADP pack. Hopefully we get you an ADP. Hyper rare. Ooh, hyper rare? Three Ooh. of them in one pack. Ooh, or that alt art with the N on it, right? The alt art with the N on it does. Oh, he wants the Blastoise Pitfall. Ooh, get Blastoise. All right, hey, man. Hey. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't put too many. I know what your code is. It's seven. What a. I did it right this time, guys. Hey, hey progress. Hey, awesome. <clears throat> we got the fist Hi, energy. Mom. Oh, we got to pimp up the second stage of the Empoleon line. And we have our bestiae. Yes. Oh, we have our tag call. Another useful trainer for the tag team decks. We have the crab <laughs> roller, the caravana. Oh, and the Shardio. We got the Chin Chow. <gasps> oh, the Zoomerel with the, with the uh, little yarn ball right there. We got the Rufflet. Oh, big chicken. I hate that chicken. <gasps> We got another yarn ball in the rare is. Oh, we got oh! you an ultra rare. Oh, we got you the Diggly Buff Togepi Cliffa. We got way. you the babies. The babies. We got you the babies. The babies. Oh, by the way, Cliffa is my favorite card in base set Neo format. <laughs> that card is evil in base set. That card is Neo. So awesome. I so, love Cliffa. So let's go back. Let's keep it on this camera for a minute because I want to show off uh, some stuff. With the safe stuff, you know, let's let's be honest. It's unrealistic for a lot of us. We can't afford mm-hmm. to spend thirty thousand dollars on a unlimited booster box or right. eight eight hundred dollars on a Charizard here mm-hmm. and there. So let's be more realistic. Hi, I'm Mama. from Bear. Anytime, Jeruda Bear. Uh, so I've got some stuff that we sell out in the warehouse that might be more realistic. So, uh, yes, Prisma TCG. Thank you so much for the raid. We greatly appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I thought that we already thanked you, and that's why I didn't say anything. Yep. Thank you so much. I wanted, Please, to, I wanted to say it again because I didn't say it. So the first thing I wanted to show off, mm. if you want a Charizard for yourself and you're okay with maybe getting something like in Japanese or a foreign language, we, they actually have, if you want to put it under that camera, they actually have the Charizard starter deck Japanese where you are guaranteed to pull the Charizard VMAX that we pulled on here. It's automatically in the starter deck. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Also, the box is amazing, too. It is. Oh. Oh, the Charizard on the sides. Oof. Super cool. Oh, and on the back, it shows you exactly what you get. Yeah, exactly. It's got the full deck. You get that Colossal in there, which is really Ooh, good. Colossal. Yeah, it's it's one of the cooler things, uh, and it's not expen- It's not hardly expensive. Mm-hmm. And you can pick it up right on trollandtroll.com. And this is something, if you want to add it to your Charizard collect, yeah, it's going to be cheaper. Oh, they're saying it's upside down. Upside down? Yeah, okay. there you go. So, it is a little bit cheaper, but you are guaranteed a Charizard. So, if you want one for your collection to have, plus some other cool Japanese cards, you've got it there. Now, Fish, mm-hmm. if I'm building a deck, right. what do I need? Why do you need? Ooh, well, see, you're going to need a deck box for starters to put yeah. all your cards in. You're going to need some energies. You're going to need some supporters. You're going to need some card sleeves, right? Oh, well, uh, there you go. Oh, hey, look so, at that card sleeve. So we have these Neo sleeves, and these are just one of the designs that Neo sleeves has that I wanted to show off, which is just a cool dragon. Ooh. Just a cool couple of dragons on there. Yeah, these are super cool. I use these for extra deck sleeves sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. nice. And 
with Neo sleeves, you can get them in cool designs and stuff. Plus, mm-hmm. we also carry Ultra Pro sleeves, Dragon Shield, uh, KMC. Like, oh yeah, we, we carry we carry a very wide variety of sleeves. And here soon, there's going to be probably an announcement about <laughs> some other sleeves coming out soon, and mm-hmm. I'll explain later. Ooh. And then also, <laughs> the last thing we need is storage. Now, right. you can buy 4Ks, you can buy 5Ks, you can buy binders to stick mm-hmm. them in. But if you've just got a bunch of stuff like dice, mm-hmm. energy counter, or uh-huh. the poison counter stuff, there's a brand new box that just came out not too long ago called the Legendary Collection Zaxian and Zamazenta box. That's a mouthful. That's a lot of Zs. Oh! It's this box right here. That's a suitcase. But this is different. This is an Taking empty a vacation box. Or where are you going? So if you want to open it up, I'll open it up from the wide view here. Ooh. So That's it's got all crazy. these drawers and everything in it to where you can keep your bulk cards. You can keep your counters. <laughs> you can keep... Mm-hmm. you got a little side drawer here. Yeah, for all your dice. Yeah, and it looks cool. It is one of the coolest things I've seen. I'm thinking about picking one up myself uh, because I have just a bunch of cards and a bunch of stuff that I can keep in it. Mm-hmm. And it's got the this box included the Zacian and Zamazenta gold Ooh, rares yeah, in it. Yeah, it's really hard to get it because of the glare with our lighting. Yeah. But it, it looks really cool. Oh. But for storage, if you're an avid Pokemon collector or even Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're an avid collector, this is something really neat that you might want mm-hmm. because it's got plenty of space for your drawers and everything or plenty of space for everything in there that you can stick right in there. So... Mm-mm. Someone's inquiring about a challenge in our lobby here, chat. That's what the mm, shaking my head is for. This is really cool, Drew. Yeah, I know. Oh my God. It's also like nice quality, too. Yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, it's not the full legendary collection. It's just an empty box. Mm-hmm. But still, if you just need an empty box to carry all your stuff, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, you just have it right in there. Ooh, so good. Uh, also, it's nice. has a good weight to it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this feels very professional. If you want to feel like a businessman who plays card games, is mm, 10 out of 10. Be Kaiba. How hard would you have to hit it with a sledgehammer to break it? Not that hard. I mean, I would say a good, out of, are we talking about 1 to 10 scale of effort? Probably probably a good, uh, probably probably a solid 7. Probably it's, 7, it's yeah. probably a solid 7. Yeah, there should be. So Ooh. this is real cool. We'll leave it right there. Uh, I really love this. And this is stuff that you can pick up straight in the warehouse that you you don't have to break the bank for. Yeah. This is stuff that you can get. Every average collectors can pick this up. Of course you're gonna need sleeves, of course you're gonna need storage. And if you're an avid Pokemon fan and you want Charizards, there's your nice Charizard and it's not you're not gonna so cost cool. you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Mm-hmm. And it's got the same it's the exact same art as the one from Vivi, uh, from uh, Dirt and Sublace. I want this sealed just to set up in my room. This box is sweet. It is, it really is. All right, so before all the technical difficulties and everything, we did get a Hyper Rare Bay. Oh, we got the Bay. Oh, we got Bay. We got the Hyper Rare Bay, Oh, which is awesome. So One of my favorite supporters, by the way. We got about 10, 15 so minutes, cool. so we got to burn through these packs. Uh, oh. You're right, the bud. All <laughs> Dead right. bud. So we're going to open, we're going to burn through these Whoa. packs. NTXR known. Hey. You give away Bay is Bay. All right, Bates. so I'm going to switch over to... The support lock is on. I know Geruda Bear. I'm going to switch over to that camera. All right, NTX, you let us know if you want this busted or not, my dude. All right, let's go ahead. We'll move those. Move these. All right. And then... So, NXT Unknown, what would you like? Would you like us to open it, or would you like us to send it to you? Or is it NTX? <laughs> what? Is it really? Man, I watch wrestling way too much because of NXT. <laughs> I watch way too much wrestling. My bad. My bad. NTX, what you want to do? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a Flareon. Uh, we got a Flareon. You, how know, many, how you many still packs? need to hit another Charizard. Yeah, I got to get the rare one. We only yeah, got a couple packs rare, left. Bud. Or, or there's one other thing that would redeem it. Okay. Fat Boy Pika. Ooh, Thikachu. I agree. Hey, oh, we got another fan. boy. We need that. Hey, we might be actually able to play the dog fan deck. Actually, yeah. Four. How many does it take? Two or three? Uh, I think it takes three. Does it take three? Yeah, okay. I think it's. Uh, I think the line is four three or three three. All right, guys. Last pack. Last of pack. Hope. All right, everyone. Hands up in chat. Hands up. Fins up. Give us your energy, guys. 
Okay, you NTX, do you want us to open your pack for you, or do you want us to send it to you? Pikachu. <gasps> another Age of Slash We got match. another big sword. Get the big sword, though. We got two big swords. We did, two but the kind of shirt. So if you're at home and you're wanting to do this yourself. Simply, all righty. We'll make sure to send we'll it send right to you. you. So if you want to go and check the trade market for yourself, so we can send that to where. still gone, GG. So these are all the cards that we pulled today on the side, and now it'll tailor it to what we want to trade. And if we trade it, let's say if we have, mm, let's see. We have, let's get, what, what did we get a bunch of? We got a Central Scorch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a Central Scorch. Yeah, so we got two of them. We can get two packs of Vivid Voltage for one Central Scorch. Ooh. Ooh. Well, ooh. I mean, then you're just trading, ooh, you're trading your cards for packs. I mean, of course, it's your Central Scorch. That pack could have anything. That pack yeah. could have a Central Scorch in it. That but, pack could have, could have your Redemption in it. It could, it could. But see, like for the Jirachi. Uh-huh. We get this guy wants to Ooh. trade a. Uh, that's that treasure chest. The so treasure chest and three vivid voltage. Three vivid voltage. Okay. All right. Um, I think there's multiple sources um, on the internet that can tell you how much each pack is worth. They're like going great. For our Crobat B, this guy wants to trade us 29 vivid voltage packs. Almost a whole box for our one Crobat. Ooh, but I think our Crobat's really good. It, I, I, I almost want to keep our Crobat just because mm. I think, don't get me wrong, we could pull it again if we ever want to do Darkness of Blaze again. But Crobat, oh, they're telling us in the chat to do it. 29? Ooh. Ooh. Do we do it for the Vine? That's the big question. Do we do it do for the Vine? Do we do it vine? for the stream? Do you think we could bust through 29 packs real quick? In eight minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it oh we're gonna want to do it how about how about we do it but we save the pack for next time all right yeah we'll do that we'll do it but we'll save the packs all right so we'll we do it we will divine. accept the trade oh, this makes my soul hurt so oh. there we go so for next oh. time we do have right now I'm the car. Oh. we have 29 vivid oh. voltage packs so, uh, ready oh. to go so Another shot at Big Boy uh, Pikachu. <laughs> bye bye, Crobat. Another an another chance for more Colossal Bees because we need one more Colossal Bee. This, yeah, I was about to say uh, we could get more Crobat, but Crobat's not in this. No, but I could next time set it up to where we can get some more. Yeah, yeah we could try to get some Crobat. So okay. out of what we got today, I mean, what do you think? What what kind of deck would you think that we're going to be looking at here? Ooh. Well, we probably just need to look at supporters first, see where we Okay, so see let's see where we start from. Where are my supporters? Yeah. Or or uh, or we could just look at uh, typing. Well, I think that we should play a Rainbow Bay no matter what. I think we should too. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ooh, let's look at for the final giveaway at 4 p.m. No keyword. Just uh, hey, remember to stay active in chat all for right, all those so twenty-five dollars of web credits. Okay, so here we go. Trainers. Yes. And let's look, let's filter it to brand new trainers like what we got today. Okay, apply. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we got that bay. Oh, we have a playset of bay. Yep. Ooh, so I we got beauty. We're probably going to be playing some type of fighting deck. Uh, Colossal V Max. Oh, uh, we got the Cape of Tough Toughness. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got more Drone Road Toms. And Ooh. then we got Familiar Bell. We got Glenwood Tangle, which is actually not bad. Mm hmm. Heroes Metal, which apparently is pretty popular to use now. Oh, okay. What does it do? Okay, so the Pokemon VMAX this card is attached to gets okay. is at minus, yeah, a minus 100 HP, and if it's knocked out by damage from an attack your opponent your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes one fewer prize card. Okay. You can't detach this card to a Pokemon VMAX that has 100 HP or less. Huh. Okay, so it turns the VMAXs into just EXs, right? Basically. But also cuts their HP down. Yeah. Oof. That's a tough trade-off. Yeah. Yeah, That's that a tough is tough. I, I could s definitely see some, like, corner case scenarios where you want to do that just so you don't lose whenever oh. they crack back and kill your thing. Uh-oh. Somebody's telling they love you. Big E for Steve. Aw. Love you, Steve. All right. And then we also did get the new Nessa. We got two. We got the four and the Hyper Rare today, which, I mean, water, water could be fun to play. Oh, water would be really fun to play. And then we got old PC, we got Opal, we got Pierce. We, we did get Pierce, so if we want to go mm -hmm. darkness, we can go dark. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Rocky Helmet. That, of course, always helps out. Right. We got Rose. Ooh. 
Spike Muth, struggle gloves. Oh, the boxing gloves? Yeah. Uh, hey, they kind of look like Pathfinder's uh, relic. Yeah. And then we Shoot. also have Turbo Patch. Turbo Patch is one that we mm -hmm. apparently always need. Turbo Patch, flip a coin mm -hmm. that pits, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX. Oh, that's free. Yeah. That's free. Yeah, Wait, so hold on. That isn't a Pokemon GX? That's the only requirement? Yeah. Not a GX? Yeah, not a GX. Okay. So... A V would work. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if you're sitting there and you're ready, like if you want to get a V Max, like yeah. the Colossal or anything like that, you just flip. Okay, it's in my discard pile. Boom, I'm going to put it on my Colossal. Yeah, I, at the price for a coin flip, like it reminds me a lot of Max Elixir, uh, yeah. where Max Elixir you could whiff off the top six cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a, basically a coin flip, but you're guaranteed the hit, right? Yeah. Like so long as you win the flip, if you're feeling lucky, 50% of the time you'll win all the time. So what do you think, just from seeing these supporters, what do you think? Ooh, I mean, we have the Full Art Bay. Uh, we also have the Leon, too. Yeah. Um, we probably need to look at our draw supporters to finally fully etch that out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like we have a very strong starting point with some good start, um, some start, with a very good fighting core uh, with Bay. <sighs> so with some of the other supporters we have, we, of course, have Blacksmith. These are mm -hmm. some of the ones that we can use now. We got Bicycle, Bianca. Uh, we have BD. Bidet. Every day. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you're correct with his pronunciation. I just like mine. Uh, of course, we got Ace Trainer, Acro Bike. These are some of the older trainers. Mm -hmm. We got Battle Reporter. Uh, we got Beauty. We've got Bird Keeper, of course. Bird Keeper. Yes. There's our Cape of Toughness. We got mm -hmm. Sharon. Mm -hmm. So I'm noticing a distinct lack of Cynthia's right now. So you know what that means? Yeah, we're probably we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit the stonk market. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're probably gonna have to get some ultra prism. Is it ultra prism or uh, forbidden light? Uh, ultra prism. Okay. And that's one that's Cynthia in it. Yep. So we're gonna have to get some ultra prism code cards so that we can go mm -hmm. for some. We success. also probably need the champion's path just for the professor. Uh, professor's research. Yes. Yep. So Research. now I, I, there's a couple of Cynthia theme, is best girl. There's a couple theme decks where you can get the code cards for that have the professor's research. Oh yeah, and um, they're they're cheap too. They're like maybe a dollar, a dollar or two. Mm -hmm. So we can go for those as well. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we can kind of get a skeleton based off of the cards we need. We can kind of get a skeleton for a good deck. So, right. Yeah. So I'm really happy with what all we got today. So I guess this is our time. I guess we're gonna wrap up. Yeah. Uh, do we already give that credit? Final Ooh. giveaway, Sir, Sir Circus. Circus. Congratulations. You won the 25 web credits. Yeah, Sir Circus. No Sir. way. Yes way. You got the 25 web credits. The tasty, tasty credits. There you go. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Despite the technical difficulties that we had earlier. It we, happens. We can't thank you enough for being onto the streams with us. Congratulations to Sir Circus and all the contestants who won today. I feel like I'm on a game show. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to me. Yeah, Bye. there you go. So, Welcome to me. Thank you, everybody who won in our giveaways today. Uh, mm -hmm. Real quick, though, before we head out, Fish, where can I catch you? Uh, you can catch me at Gaming Fishman at everything online. Uh, also, you can catch me tomorrow at 2 o'clock here for the Fish Tank. It's going to be super sweet. We have uh, Jeremy on as a host. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to, I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned. I'm excited. I can't wait to – I'm assuming there's going to be some magic talk. Uh, there it's going to be some magic. Well, you know, hey. Uh, we've hit our stride in the fish tank, you know, been going for a decade now. So I feel like we finally narrowed down, like, what we're trying to do. And so we got a fun game planned uh, uh, for tomorrow. I can't wait. Big say. Had fun doing it last week, and uh, I can't wait to see what you and Jeremy have cooked up. Oh, yeah. It'd from, be super fun. For myself, you can always catch me at Fatboy319 mm -hmm. on everything, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, at Twitter, it's at dhendrix 319 Tonight, I will be streaming Pokemon as well. I got a surprise for people on my stream, so if you want to come check it out. Uh, once again, we can't thank you enough for everything you guys do for us. Don't forget, tomorrow at 12.30 or 12? 12.30. Okay. So don't forget, tomorrow at 12.30, Troll versus Toad. We have Cody versus Jericho and some interesting deck types. Oh. I can't wait to see what they are. Ooh, I can't wait to see either. Hopefully it's not Rain Dance plus Control no, again. No, no, we're not doing Rain Dance plus Control. Rain Dance, we are done with it for a while. So... Tune in tomorrow at 12.30, and then at 2 o'clock, we got my man Fish over here with the fish tank. And then on Friday at 2 o'clock, 
We had the Magic Stream, and then at six o'clock, our first primetime show, we had the Yu-Gi-Oh Super Show at the, six oh, o'clock. Oh, I like that. The Yu-Gi-Oh Super Show. They say, I can't wait. Super Show. Oh, oh yes, and I forgot. Oh, yeah, Saturday. The 30th, what time right? are you running? After dark. After. I don't know. That's mine. Uh, whenever the moon crosses the sky. For so the time technically, period. we'll say what nine o'clock. Time, okay. to, time to be announced. Okay, TBA. We'll announce it. We'll announce it tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, there we go. We'll announce it tomorrow on Friday. Lagoon. So don't forget Saturday. This Saturday, our first Troll and Toad After Dark stream with Alicia, and they've got an interesting game of Werewolf probably going to be taking place. You just see the whatever. you just see or the whatever. neon sign kick back on. <laughs> it's like yeah, exactly. Dark. I'll be scared as I'm watching. So thank you guys so much for coming into the stream. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'm Drew. This is Fish. Have a good one. We're splashing out. Oh, wait, that's my show. <laughs>